Good morning. <laughs> We're here. We're going to the stone factory together on this lovely sunny day. It is cold. It is November 29th, I think. So let's see. Join us. Okay, we're back. We're almost there. So let's see. This is where we're at. It's in Helene. It's in the Netherlands. And this is the factory. You see the huge chimney in the back and the building before it. It's now not a factory anymore where they make bricks and shingles. It's now yeah youth protection i don't know whatever it is but it's uh, where they treat children with problems young children so this is it let's see if we can go around and maybe get a little bit closer so this is the building it was uh, created in 1920 and only two years after they uh, went bankrupt and Plintos, which is still the name of the building now, they took over and it's a, it's a big furnace. So it's uh, what they call a ring shaped furnace. So this whole building is where they made bricks and uh, shingles for the roofs and that's the, the chimney. So it's really interesting. It's kind of old and it's uh, close to where we live so it was nice for us to check out. And on the side you can see the openings. Those were venting holes I guess for the furnace. Let's see if we can get a more close up somewhere. Yeah, this is the map of the furnace. So here you can see the ring shaped furnace and the rest of the building. But it's, uh, yeah, something different today. So not like it used to be. Okay, before we go in, we'll try to get in. We'll take a detour here through the forest. See if we can get a nice uh, walk here. Stretch our legs on this beautiful November day. So, here we are. Yes, it's cold. It's fresh. That's where the building is between the trees and there's some uh, interesting things here along this route as well that have to do with the building so we'll show you not sure what this was but let's look at uh, the board here what it says it says de vormelingen werden voor het bakken op planken in rekken gedroogd aan de zon en wind. Bij regen werden ze afgeschermd met de rieten matten. So these racks is where they used to lay the bricks to dry in the sun and the wind. And when it rained they would uh, cover them with uh, some mats made from uh, bamboo or whatever. But this is what they uh, used to lay them on, so that's part of the factory. Interesting. Yeah, during daytime, this is a nice route to walk in the night. Yeah, not so much, I guess. So let's see what it says here and what happened here. Maybe not something interesting, maybe it is. Uh, yeah, it's about some plants and, and flowers that grew here, or still growing here. Looks a little bit like uh, a place which is 
which is uh, used to sacrifice things or yeah you know, I don't know it's new so it's not old they made it look like something interesting so we're in the back now I'm not sure if we can get any closer than this but let's see yeah some uh, mushrooms here yep that's what you get during autumn this sign says Restriction, access restricted uh, for unauthorized people. So, and there's a law book uh, citation. So a trampoline and a swing. And there's the big tower. Yep. Wouldn't want to climb in that one. Fear of heights, but as you can see there is a way to get up there by those stairs or how do you call them yeah it's uh well, it's open there uh, i'm not sure if we should go in there but if we can we could try to get some what closer what will they do send you away yeah probably Not sure if anybody's there. You want to go look? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's take a closer look. We won't be getting in, I guess, but a little closer. Yes. Here they have some beehives. It's pretty quiet, so probably no bees in there right now. And this is the building a little closer. They have cameras, so they probably see us already. Yeah, well, it's closed, so we can't get in, but still nice to get a little closer. Yeah, maybe during summertime, you won't want to be walking here with all those bees. All right. Get out of here, here you can see you can get in the furnace and it looks a little crooked if you're standing on the bottom. Wow, it is high. It looks a little tilted to the left, but it's been here for, yeah, a hundred years, so 1920. So this year was the hundredth year anniversary haven't heard anything about it but still nice to know so if you're not from around here so you can still see what we have here in the, the southern side of the Netherlands in Limburg so this is in uh, Daneken that's a little place close to Geleen and it's part of Geleen right now but it's still called Daneken yeah all right doors to smoke all right maybe they smoke here but in the forest you don't want to smoke if it's dry and we're on a side road now it's kind of a hollow road in the winter these things fill up with snow when it blows into this road from the sides and it's really nice to go sledding just a winter walk through the snow so this is a different view from uh, the plant the, the stone factory this is uh, the other side from where we were and we were there in the back close to the chimney so yeah that's about everything we can show you because the rest is closed 
and they're not gonna let us in right now so yeah that's it hope you enjoyed at the end of the road here you can see there's a cross and that's not because somebody died here on the intersection but this is uh, a thing that's done a lot in Limburg uh, Limburg is a Catholic province of the Netherlands and this is their way to show their faith so most crosses intersections etc they uh, display some sort of cross uh, to show their Catholic faith these are some nice farmers houses that are laying here uh, not everybody's a farmer anymore but a lot of people uh, do love to live in the open in uh, the outside so do I so that's why we walk here um, maybe we can still see some horses here they used to have them here but maybe it's too cold and they're inside but let's see look at that no car to be seen no airplane in the air just some nice open spaces a nice view and you can see most leaves have fallen from the trees so winter is coming I do like the winter but I do not like the cold for that long I like to stay warm but you can uh, dress for the occasion I guess but I'm always happy when spring starts again and new plants arise and new animals are born and the sun gets higher and higher so yeah I really do love that so, a quick overview of this little place called Daniken and now after these houses on the right we're in front of the factory again so we did a 360 around the factory and that's that yep. there it is here we're gonna walk along the river here and go to the horse ranch I just because we can and the scenery is nice to show you a little of Limburg in the Netherlands yeah if you live here you can fish in your backyard there's the train that's not so nice it's a lot of noise so these are some horses and they belong to the riding school over there my daughter goes there to ride the horses get some lessons there so they have ponies and horses that's nice Let's see if uh, if they're open, if we can go to the stables. Probably. It is Sunday, so they're closed, but probably the gate is open or the, the gate, yeah. Let's see. They're riding the horses right now, so yeah, it's a good day for that. It's dry, sunny. It is uh, a little bit chilly, but the horses want some exercise as well. So let's follow them if we can. Probably going back to the stable to brush them off, clean them a little, and maybe feed them. So let's see. Ah, here they are. Hi. Hi. 
boat up a kind of yeah so we're not allowed in here because of uh, covid so only people who belong here and ride for them for this school well, it's a pity maybe we can take a peek here but there's no stables here yeah there are but it's empty right now yeah we got the sun in the front so if i film to that side uh, the camera is not gonna pick it up really nice i guess so let's see we have some horses here but i guess not nah it's nothing here so we're going back and we're off to a new location so we'll see you there cheese okay we're at the next location and this is uh, a restaurant now but it is a former monastery uh, which was built in 1712 I guess I think it was it's called uh, Abtshoven which it says uh, on this sign as well it's really nice Yeah, you can uh, rent it for um, weddings and other festivities take a walk around it's really nice it's also closed right now but I like buildings like this especially if they're empty and you can go in and you can really taste the history and everything so they have a open place here the tables yeah that's it and well it's nice to see this but we came for the forest because in this forest there's a famous grave and we're gonna visit it it's like a shrine right now but we'll show you we'll get there it's pretty close to the road so it's not really deserted place or something but it is just within the forest and there it is already I hope it does give some information because I'm not really sure who was buried here I've been here before but can't remember anymore So here it is. And it says, oh my God, that's hard to read. It really is hard to read. This cave uh, is made by Jan, oh my god, I really can't, yeah, I think Jan de Konen, and it says Mer, and then Munstergeleen, and the date is uh, probably 1966, so it's not really that old anymore, but yeah, it's nice to have uh, things to see in your surroundings so. yep that's it and that's probably uh, the Holy Mary watching out for the city okay that's it for today so I hope you enjoyed our little uh, visit and scenery uh, hope to see you next time bye bye